Hello, today is the anniversary of the death in 2022 of Queen Elizabeth and no doubt the royal family and many others around the nation and the Commonwealth will be remembering the anniversary today because that's what we human beings tend to do. Most of us will have days when we remember people who died on that particular day. It's a way of recalling their memory, uh, remembering them, um, but also of noting the length of time that has passed since the, that particular death. And it led me to think uh, about the way in which we human beings need to divide time up. Uh, the division of it into years and days and, and months uh, is related, of course, to the natural world, to the Earth's relationship to the sun and the moon. But the division into weeks, which is universal, is not. This was invented by the Babylonians um, um, millennia ago. Uh, and presumably what they were trying to do was to gain some control over time. If you can give it a, a, a portion, if you can give it a name, somehow you, you're perhaps controlling time, because time uh, is, is in a way a, a, a threat, because uh, it just goes on and you can't stop it. Uh, one hymn writer describes it as like an ever-flowing stream and the good times and the bad times are carried through, uh, uh, are carried along like, like a stream taking us with them and then, then they're gone. And I think sometimes we want to recapture moments by having things like anniversaries uh, which uh, remind us of the past but also mark stages in the way time is moving. Uh, I, th I think that the, the, the phrases like uh, killing time and saving time uh, give us a sense of control o over, over the way time is taking us with it. But actually, we, we, we have no control. All we can do is to make sure that the time that we do have is well used. Uh, and sometimes we need to just stop and uh, not allow ourselves just to be carried along. I mean, time keeps moving, of course, that's its problem. But we can just stop and take stock and make sure that what we are doing with uh, our time, which is probably our most precious gift, that what we are doing with our time is what we really want to do with it, that we're making the best use of the time that we're given, so that when we come to look back over times past, we can do so with, 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 uh, with satisfaction. And when we look to times ahead, we know we're going to have some control over it, because we choose what we do with it, and we choose well.